Welcome back, my friends, to Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. And we're actually, actually going to do this. We are actually going to the frontier. And there's going to be a few things we have to get. And a good thing that we did get a few things before we went to the frontier because certain items will not show up if you do this in a certain order. But since we already done it, well, I think it's time for us to visit Might. And let everything come into full circle. Turn! You brought more people with you? Ah! Just tell them to get out. Just tell them to stay out of my way. The damn airship isn't done yet. <laughs> but I'll be finished by the morning. I'll be upstairs and make a final adjustment, so stay here and don't touch anything. And that goes for your pack of sweet smelling friends as well. Yeah! He's even more charming than you made him out to be, Alex. Yeah. By the way, did he happen to mention where we're supposed to sleep in here? It's all right, Nash. I'm sure he'll warm up to us in time. Let's find a place to rest. So... This is the night before we actually go and face the frontier. And our party is uncertain about what's going to happen. So let's listen in, shall we? Tomorrow's the day, Jess. Tomorrow's the day we take on the baddest guy in the history of the world. So, you think we're just going to scrape out a victory or will we completely embarrass him? I think you're as overconfident as always, you big fool. <laughs> Stop it. You get me all excited. Carl, uh, uh, <clears throat> what's wrong? Before we go, Jess, I have to tell you something. Now I have to tell you that I... That I... I can't hear you, Carl. Your voice is trailing off. What? Come on, Carl. You can't tease me like that. Tell me. I said it's nothing, Chess. Now be quiet and leave me alone. You be quiet? Is that how you treat the woman to whom you were about to confess your love? Love you? How can anyone love your squeaky voice and your bad attitude? My attitude is just fine to you with your big mouth, Kyle. I bet those two have been fighting. If you try to the first time they met. I'm pretty sure they have. No, I'm pretty sure they have. And now with Nash and Mia. Tomorrow we see the frontier. Aren't you scared, Mia? I know things you don't, Mia. I know for a fact that Galleon is immensely strong. Much stronger than you. Alex or anyone else believes. Oh, Nash. If we choose to fight him, Mia, we're going to die. You're probably right, Nash. And I am scared. So, why are you fighting? Because it's my duty, Nash. It's my duty as the next leader of the Magic Hill to protect the goddess from harm. That's right, Mia. You're the next leader of the guild. That's why you can't just throw your life away like Alex and the others. Why don't you stay here, Mia? I'll fight Galley in your name. Just don't do this. Thank you, Nash, for your concern. But I'll be fine. I 
I used to think a lot about how powerless I was, Mesh. Hey, Mia, that's not true. I was born to take over the Magic Guild. I was reminded of it every day of my life. But the more I pondered my destiny, the more certain I was that I could never fulfill it. I knew I could never be a great leader like my mother. I was drowning in my own fear and uncertainty, Mesh. But not anymore. I finally realized what I should have known so long ago. I have to live in the present. I can't worry about what could be or what might be. I'm going to do whatever I can to make a difference night right now. And when the time comes to take over the Magic Guild, I know I'll be ready. Mia, you've always been strong, but I... Ah, she's getting late. Why don't we go to sleep? That way we'll see a little even sooner. That's a good idea. Ah! Patience, boy! Today is a temporary, but mediocrity is forever! Yeah. Um... Man, yeah, is everything okay with Nash over there? Whatever Galley is doing in the frontier must be more over than we can imagine. Let's not waste any more time, Alex. Let's go to the frontier and end this now. The longer we wait, the longer Galleon has to come up with even more demented ideas. True. Alex, I know you're worried about Luna's state of mind. But when we beat Galleon, I bet you she'll be our old kind self again. I guarantee he's poisoning her to sing that evil song, Guess Who Will. Um, Nash? What's up, man? Nash, what's up, man? Face it, Alex. Even our combined strength isn't enough to match Galleon's power. It doesn't matter whether or not you're the Dragon Master. Nothing matters now. Nash? My work is done! Excellent! Let's go thrash ourselves one magic emperor! If we hurry, we can probably be home in time for dinner. Don't get too cocky, Kyle. We're going to be fighting Galleon and the Vile Tribe on their home turf. Doesn't matter where we fight it, Jessica, we're going to win! Ash? Ash, what's wrong? I can tell something is troubling you. We're going to fight Galleon. We're going to fight Galleon? We're going to fight Galleon? <laughs> I've never heard anything so absurd in my life! Nash? You've all seen Galleon's power! And you're deluding yourselves if you think you can beat him! If you're... If you travel to the frontier, you're all going to die! Don't you... Don't any of you understand that? Nash, why are you saying this? What's wrong with you? What? Galleon knows everything, Mia. I've been reporting to him since the beginning. I'm going to tear you to shreds, you toothfish one little rot! I'm not letting you go to the frontier, Mia. And all you others. I won't let you throw your life away! Check this out. You son of a bitch. <laughs> well done, Mesh. Very well done. I have only one question. Which one of you wants to play first? I'll never forgive you for this, Mesh! Never! You've only yourselves to blame, you prisoners of foolish ambition. Ah, uh, this is like. This is starting to feel like a bad Dr. Joe's adventure. This, this cat. Can't be happening. I'm sorry, Mia. Touching but unnecessary, Nash. You've made the only rational choice. What the hell was he thinking? What the hell has he done? He's still Galleon about everything we've done. And now he's telling Galleon that we're going to the frontier. That 
damn brat destroy my engine! I assure you, it won't be at all easy to repair. That engine was a masterpiece! So, what do you say? We can't go to the frontier? Not unless you happen to know more about engine repair than I do! Hm. Of course we don't. Who says we have to repair it at all? What do you mean, Kyle? Why fix it when we can replace it? Of course! We can use the engine from Shira's balloon! Shira? No, 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 no. I can assure you that anything made by him is entirely unsuitable. Sorry, old man. We don't have time to wait for you to make repairs. Let's go back to Visa and look for the balloon. So, before we actually do that, let's go over to Illuk. And actually, if you think about it, if you kind of spell it out, ill look, ill luck, bad luck, bad luck, the town of bad luck, ill luck. So since we don't have Nash in the party, this is the reason why you want to do this. You don't have Nash in the party, but you go to this guy. A friend of mine at Hot Girl News sent me the best picture I've ever taken of you, Mia. Now he's my best friend. I'm just curious how you failed to notice whoever took this photo. I mean, if he was any close to you, the camera would have spontaneously combusted from your intense heat. Please don't murder me. Give me that picture right now, you nasty little troll! And you don't want me to ask twice. And there's... Me has brought my fort. There you go. Oh, no, 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 please don't take my pretty picture away from me. Don't, don't take my razor for a living. Oh, shit. Me, yeah, I beg you. I need to cancel upon your flawless form. Oh, oh, shit. She's, she's pissed. She's not saying a word at you. She is looking at you with flame in her eyes. You best not do that. All right, take it, but know that you could have saved my life today. If I ever catch you with smut like this again, I'm going to take your life, big boy! I don't know who's scary when she's angry, Jessica or Mia. Um, both. Because Mia has that that silent rage. Jessica just let that shit fly. Like, boom, okay, just back the fuck up. Back the fuck up, just take the picture. Take the picture, go, go, bye, go, bye. Now, leave. Now, we can actually walk to um, Riza because it's right there. Because all you're going to do is just get the following. You're just gonna get the the engine in question as we go down the stairs like so. And the barkeep is so happy that his daughter is safe. I'm so happy I got my voice back. Let's see. You must be the guy I wouldn't to talk to. You became the Dragon Master? Man, I should have gone with you. Would have been an experience of a lifetime to have an adventure with the Dragon Master himself. But you're the guy we need to talk to. You want the engine of airship, huh? Alright, it's yours for 30,000 silver. What? Do you know how much brew I can buy with that kind of money? 3,000. Are you loony? I really don't care if you get the engine or not, but I'm not the one who needs it, am I? 
You have a need? I have need. One, one airship engine for you and 30,000 silver for me. How about it? Alright, we'll buy it, jerk. Well, we lost 30,000 right there. But we got the balloon engine. Thanks, kids. That these guild is gonna make me the employee of the month. You're despicable. Ain't it though? And we'll talk right back to Lily once we're done with things here. At least we're done with this. At least when we're done with this part, anyway. Um. So, let's see what happens if we go to Illic before we go to Might. And I'm pretty much going to say before we actually do that. So hopefully when we actually get there, you know, like I said, previous game, it kind of like on me because of the emulator. I see. You're going to take my balloon engine to Might. I consider that engine my masterwork. But Might is very tough to impress. I wonder what it'll think of it. He would have words for you, man. So we've lost about, oh, half of what we worked our asses on, but that's okay. At this point, it doesn't matter. So we're actually gonna warp. Over to Mike. And actually what I'm gonna do, Just make sure things are running as smooth as silk. I'm gonna save right here at Might. Here's the balloon engine. It's a serious engine. I ain't admit it, but it's good. Not as good as mine, I assure you. Ah! Could have been a great inventor with more training, but never mind that now. I'll go upstairs and install this into the airship once I make it perfect, which won't take long. Yeah, your friends can wait here, and I'll remind you all to touch, not to touch anything. Yeah. This is great, Alex. We finally got to make it in the front here. And hopefully, the end of this one. What's this? Why have you take? Why have you all haven't taken off yet? Because now she's trying to enter the airship. He's been working for Galleon all along. That's terrible. So what about the airship itself? It's fine. Might is upstairs and sorry the engine from our first balloon. Well then, there's nothing left for us all to do but wait. The frontiers of coastline. I don't know what's up, Alex. No one does. Are you certain you're ready to venture now? Of course. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you wouldn't let me down, Alex. In fact, there are times when I wish I was as brave as you. Mia, how you doing? Alex, you have to understand that Nash was thinking with his heart. In his mind, he didn't believe he was betraying us. He was protecting us from harm. I know how she feels, but what Nash did was so wrong. I'm so glad I can still... I, I actually got my voice back just to do the females. <clears throat> just, just do female voices. I'm gonna claw Nash's eyes out next time I see him! It's not just what he's done to us, it's what he's done to Mia! When she's angry, Jessica gets more like a cat than I am. Nash is an idiot. How could he not understand the grief he's causing Mia? Should have thought about the consequences of his actions. 
She's with an ex. What's it's what they call becoming an expert on relationships? Listen up! Airship's finished! Come on upstairs and see my latest brilliant creation! And Mia has to basically take her time getting up over here. Thank you! With the power of the full dragons, Galleon might as well be invincible. But only if you fight him on his terms, Alex. You'll have a power that cannot be measured. And that Galleon can never steal from you. Do you understand what that power is, Alex? Do you know how to use it? Well, I think it's that time. Given time, it could have designed and built a far better, far superior airship, but this will have to go. Mm. I can hardly wait to see the look on Galleon's face after I stick my butt up his pooter. Ah, I hate to admit it, but Carl's confidence is infectious, isn't it? I don't understand why they're so excited about what we're going to do, Alex. There's nothing cheerful to me about the thought of taking someone's life. Oh, it's just ashes! Don't worry, Luda! We're finally coming! Alex. Do your best. I will! Stop the frontier. Emperor. The sooner we wipe them out, the sooner we can leave this next place. Moment of truth now. What, what's that? The moment of truth. us when we actually take on the frontier and the vile tribe find out in our next exciting episode when we start up this two of let's play lunar silver star story complete finally i'll see you in the next part when we start up this two <laughs>